Hello, hello everyone. So today I am reviewing a uh, calligraphy pen that I was suggested by Peter Draws, which I really love. Uh, I love his site. Uh, and I'll put a link here of his uh, YouTube site. He has a lot of followers and I really love the way he does his uh, uh, drawings. Well, anyway, this is a review of this pen, uh, which is a Noodler's Ink Writing Instruments of the World, and this is the box that it came in. And I like the box in, uh, immediately because it has these drawings. So one is a crocodile, and then this one is like a fish, a catfish, uh, it extends over there. So uh, I opened the other box already and filled it with ink and I used for this uh, pen, I used a Mont Blanc ink. I didn't use their suggested ink, which was the Noodler's ink. So uh, first what I'll do is uh, write, uh, test this out, test this pen for you. And then afterwards, I'll go back and I haven't opened this other one and I'll fill it with red ink instead of blue. This one has blue ink. So I, I've been testing this pen for maybe like two weeks now and I really love it. But it does have, it's, it's very temperamental, some form of temperamental thing about it is that um, I'll explain a little bit later, but it doesn't write perfectly, although quite very well enough that I still love it uh, a whole lot. So, so you can see that there is a lot of um, difference, a thick and a thin where you can play with a sort of calligraphy without having to keep dipping your pen in the calli calligraphy ink. So as you can see, it sometimes doesn't flow as well as it should. But I'm sort of guessing that it's because I'm writing it too fast and it does have its limitation. And later on, I will compare this to a pen that I often use, which is a Mont Blanc pen, which I call, which I would say is the perfect pen for me. Although the problem, of course, with uh, the Mont Blanc pen is that you cannot flex it. It's basically just uh, one uh, fine uh, lining type of pen. Now one important thing to consider when I'm doing calligraphy or writing using this pen, this noodler's pen, is that uh, is the paper. It really matters what type of paper you use. Sometimes it just bleaches or it spreads around. So the best paper that uh, that, that I've found and that I'm using for this demonstration is the Canson uh, Sketch Equi Esquise Croqui and it's a 65 pound or 96 grams paper. So here's an image of the paper I'm using. I'll put it in the description uh, at the bottom of the screen. So let's go ahead and unbox this uh, Noodler's uh, pen. And uh, I'll show you how I prepared it, put the ink and prepared also the tip. So the box uh, comes like this and then it, uh, the pen is in a plastic, nice plastic wrapping. It also contains the directions for I have to put the 
ink and stuff, how to fill, and it, it's nice because it has a drawing of a fish and it sort of demonstrates how the pen looks like in some ways. And then just sort of a simple printout of the parts of the pen. But I'll show you all of this. So you don't need to. You won't need to look at the instruction. But the box contains this, uh, so that you'll know what you're getting. So basically, it's you just pull it out, and it will come out transparent. I like the uh, transparent look, so that you can see the ink. I, for some reason, I enjoy uh, looking at the ink over here. And it gives me an idea of how much more ink I have before I need to refill it. So this has a piston also, uh, which is nice, but it's a different type of piston as to the other pistons I've used. This one just goes up and down. So you just basically press it and then pull it. It's not like those other pistons, for example, let me show you this uh, Mont Blanc pen that I have. I just filled it up with ink. And if you, the piston is sort of, you have to turn around to sort of turn. Oh, I'll demonstrate, I'm just trying to I'm going to be using this pen to demonstrate the difference between the other pen that I have and why this noodler's pen works uh, very well for the calligraphy studies that I'm trying to do. So one thing that, bef that you should do before you even put ink in it, I would suggest, is they said you have to either use a lighter to sort of flame or heat up the tip, the flex nib, or use a uh, isopropyl alcohol. So for that I have, for this one I used a lighter and basically I just heated up the tip. For this one I want to try for the first time a isopropyl alcohol. It's just an ordinary alcohol that I use. Let me focus on that. And then some uh, earbuds that I can dip the alcohol in, a uh, little bit into the alcohol and use it. So basically, just like that. Wet it a bit. Then just basically. If it doesn't work, then I'll go to the option of uh, using a lighter. And I think what this is doing together with uh, using a flame or a lighter is that it removes this sort of film above it uh, during the manufacturing of these flex nibs. Uh, and so that the ink can flow properly. There you go. And so let me just close the lid of this isopropyl alcohol. For this, I am going to use a another Mont Blanc ink that I like. which is this sort of reddish, nice reddish color. So this is the ink I'm going to use. It's also a Mont Blanc, Mont Blanc ink, and it's made in Austria. I think I got this in 2007 or something, uh, but it, I think it's readily available also in Amazon. I mean, the reason I'm using this instead of the Noodler's ink is basically it's what's available to me and that's what I've been using for my Mont Blanc pens and the other pens also. So first open it. And then you push the piston down. There you go. 
go. So it will look like this. Basically, I just unscrewed the bottom part, which used to be here. And then this used to be up. And then you just push it in. And then I dip it in. And then pull it back up. Just so that we get more of the ink. And immediately you'll see the ink filling up the barrel. And then basically I just remove the excess ink from the tip. There you go. And then for me, I like to be careful. So always close your ink bottles after using because it's very easy to just topple them over and I've had several accidents because of that and it's really messy and will take you hours to just to clean it up and so it's easier to just close and keep everything neater before you even start prevent accidents and then I put the barrel back and then there you go it should be ready to work there so then this is the cap there so this is the red one that we just filled up and this is the blue one that I had been working on or using uh, for the past two weeks now let me clear this up so let's try this and see how it works so it works you can see it works very nice And it has that thickness. Now, if you go too fast and really press too hard, you sur I sort of noticed that the twines and then the, the ink sort of doesn't flow as well as it should. See, it, you can see this area over here. It sort of splits up. And I think it's because I'm just going too fast. And it, uh, but if I go slow, then it's it, it seems to be going back okay. It's not perfect, but it it really does work well in creating a thicker line. So let me do from. Now, let me do a comparison with a non-flex type of pen that I use. So again, this is the, and I'll just basically do a flourish. This is just a useful calligraphy flourish today. You always see I'm out of practice, but there's a significant difference between the thin and thick lines. So let's try to compare just this noodlers with another with the sort of defined point uh, pen that I have. Example, just let, let's try a word.
And then let's try my usual, and I am usually use this for just ordinary writing. And this one you'll see it's like a medium size. This one is not a flex tip, so I'm just trying to show you what, when it doesn't flex, what it looks like. And then I also have one of these vanishing pens, which I also like because you can just show the Flick it like that, like a modern pen. This one is a medium tip, but also not very well, not very flexy, but it works really nicely also. And I have a fine version of the vanishing one which is like a very thin so this one doesn't really flex so there you have it. That's my short review of the Noodlers Ink Company Flex Pen. It I love it, but it's definitely not perfect. It sometimes it just stops writing, but when it does write, it writes very well. So there you have it. Uh, hope to hear. Hope to see you guys again. Thank you.